Hi, and welcome back. In this, we're gonna be building our solution for the Scrapey practical exercise. And to reiterate again, we wanna scrape the following phrase here. Scrapey 2018 challenge. Scrapey is fun. We want to return the list as well. And as a bonus challenge, try to scrape one of the images from the website. I'm gonna try and scrape the logo image. And now we're gonna get started working through our spider. And on a note for this practical challenge, just because it's done one way does not necessarily mean that that's the only way to do it. With Scrapey, that as one of the bonuses, is that there are multiple ways of accomplishing the build of spiders, just in general. There are many ways, uh, if you, as a hint, open the inspector to see the elements, the HTML elements, the CSS elements on the page. I created some tags for them, some classes that might help you even further, but there are multiple ways to accomplish this. So let's get started and take a look at one of them. First things first, I'm going to go into my editor and we're gonna start building the spider. Now, as usual, we want to import Scrapey. We want to use the following as well. And we're going to get set up on our spider. From working through the series, this should be pretty familiar. Just the overall setup of a general spider. It becomes kind of repetitive at that point. And let's call it practical spider. Makes sense for the purpose of this. We want to pass in our domains. Can't just keep scraping. We're going to be the allowed domains of superdatascience.com. Close that. Return. And the start URLs equal to the page that we want to scrape, the HTTPS superdatascience.com slash scrapey underscore practical. And don't forget the closing tags. Okay, I wanna double check this. We have an end of line and it did imported by nine. Okay, we're fine. So we can get this started. We wanna define, again, we're parsing. We have to put our self and response. If you guys run through any questions throughout this, one thing would be to check the Scrapey series that we've put together so far. And if you have any questions, please feel free to share them. So we have to set the items and really what we want to scrape here. This is where the HTML, the CSS, that information comes in handy. So we're going to set item equal to, so we can run through these. I want to have that. And I like giving myself a little bit of space. First one, let's set it to logo. Since we're going to be as the bonus, we're going to be trying to return that logo response.css. Again, this is what we're working off of. We want to use the following information to kind of grab that. And this is telling it which direction we're going to use the X path, as we've seen with Scrapey. Source. Close that and to extract the first. Now this is telling it, it was kind of what it sounds is to extract the first element. We're trying to grab that logo where it's located on the page, or at least I am, you can apply this, you know, I said images, but I'm going to be trying to apply the logo. If we go into the inspector, we can find the image information here since it's nested within the following. And according to the spider, if we follow the path, we can grab it and extract the first element. Now, I wanna add the comma because we're gonna be working with more, kinda of run this through. And for the next one, what are we trying to scrape? We're actually trying to scrape, let me close this. We're trying to scrape the super data science and we also wanna scrape Scrapey 2018 challenge. Kinda of set them up as separate questions, I guess as part of the first question. We can take a look again, if we go into inspect, and we see this is an H3, and it has the specific class and the div class here for the entirety. 
So let's try the following. Let's set it as question one. Again, response as it's setting up our spider. And we're going to give it the following directions. We have the content. Div entry content should look familiar since we just looked at that. And we're going to the H3 SC1 text. And we'll close that. And to extract the first. Now it looks like I am going to close this. And we also, I guess, as simplistic, we'd like to keep things simple. Let's copy that. I'm going to return it. I want the same spacing, and I messed up the spacing earlier, so hopefully that doesn't run into an error. We want to do Q1. Okay, and this is the second part, so let's do Q1.1. And we have to give it a little bit of a different, because remember, we're working with different HTML and CSS information, different directions. Let's, I should have actually kept that open. Let's go back into this. Let's take a look because we're working here. It's an H3, doesn't have that same class. Let's scroll down. It's an H3. Again, it's in this block of the entry content. And one way we can actually grab this is to use the nth child to specify the number, the number that this child element of the entry content can be scraped. So let's go back into our spider. Let's get rid of some of the directions. And I actually want to keep that. We'll grab that. Let's do div entry content. Again, that's what we're working from. To the h3. Remember, it's an h3 with the nth child. And we could specify the number of that, which it comes up if we take a look at it. And it is the seventh. And to close it, we want the text. We're going to be using extract first again, specifying the extraction of that element. And we could return to the next one. So let's move on to question two. Question two, let's actually get it set up before we jump back to the page. Let's call it Q2 and setting up the same way. One thing we like to keep things simple, organized. We'll set it up as that. We can also start setting this up because we're working with the content. But let's take a look at the directions. We want this scrapey is fun here. So we see it's attached to a P. It does have the class as number two, but let me grab this real quick. Let's take, whoa. Let's take a look. At the following. All right, that's the entirety. I want to grab that entry content. All right, we see the class number two, but an actual way of grabbing this, which I think it'll be simpler, you could use the class. Let's go through, since we want scrapey is fun. We have the closing div tag there. Let's use the nth child as we similarly did before, but let's use it off of the div tag. So let's craft this as the following is q2 we'll set it as the div nth child specifying the directions now some experimentation can go into this when you're trying to guess or find out the child if it's not too clear maybe you return one later one earlier but let's set that and we can specify the p so remember it was attached to the p the paragraph in the html element text close that and as you can assume or guess, we're using the extract first. And don't forget the parentheses and the comma. Now we're almost there. We have scraped the logo, the question one, question two, or excuse me, question one, question 1.1, 1 .1, question two. And now we can scrape the last is we're looking for a list. So I want to set it up essentially to kind of iterate through that. 
let's set it up as list items. Now we need to type that out correctly. I want an underscore. All right, let's take a look at it. And I don't want that. Keep those single quotations. Give myself some space there. And let's go take a look again at the information for the list. I want to grab pointer. All right, so we have the third challenge in that div. It is an unordered list. And we're looking to return the text. So let's try that. I mean, that can kind of specify. Let me just select that, expand the div. We have the unordered list with our list items. So let's jump back in to our spider. And let's have element or E for E in response.css. Again, similar setup. It becomes very repetitious. We want content specify the directions we kind of just went over that so we had remember the div of the third challenge specifying div third challenge to the unordered list and we want the text off the unordered list but here we're not going to actually be doing extract first because we want to extract and it's a list we have to use extract if e to strip it now let's close or excuse me i already have it closed so let's add the comma closing parentheses of the item now we can wrap this up we have the for some reason it's coming up so i probably forgot to oh, there it is i want to add that in now that makes sense we want to wrap this up since we have to have our self.logger info and the following our item and we want to return the item now the goal of this was to return it into a csv and we're going to get to that in a second all right, and we do not want to have that in there. Let's clean this up. We don't need too much space on the end there, but that's fine. All right, we want to save it. Again, I have it saved as practicalspider.py. You can name it what you want. Let's just change one thing very quickly. Don't want that. Want the lowercase p. All right, now let's go to our console. We were working with the Scrapey environment. So let's activate it again. I'm on Mac, source activate Scrapey environment if you're on windows it'll just be activate if you're on linux it will be source activate I want the scrapey environment i have a folder set up so i'm going to actually cd into it oh i want to grab that again i have the folder set up i'm working from i renamed it is practical and we are going to be running the spider now so let's set it as scrapey run spider practical spider.py and here to specify the output we want data.csv let's call data.csv always keeps it simple and let's run it and it should return our csv with the information that we're looking to scrape all right spider finished you can see scrape is pretty quick let's go into the folder let's take a look at the csv file and there we have it we have our q1 as super data science scrapey 2018 challenge q2 as scrapey is fun and we have returned the list items and we can also see we returned the png file or the logo as well so great work if you have gotten that if you haven't that's no problem keep working on your spiders visit the tutorial again to reiterate, there is no one specific method. You can specify other directions, other HTML and CSS elements, you know, trying to keep it simple. We can always just go in, extract the first as we've used here. We have went through our list items to return them as well, setting the do um, one of the key elements. One of the first things that you'll do, set the class, set the name of the spider, along with the domains that you're looking to scrape. Now, I hope that you have had fun with this project. 
If you have any questions or would like, or if you would like to share how you did it and how you built your spider, please feel free to share it and we'd be happy to take a look. Hope this was a fun hands-on project, which you can take away some useful tips and tricks with Scrapey. Keep an eye out for any future updates and tutorials related to Scrapey and web scraping in general, along with other data science courses. Subscribe to the Super Data Science channel where you will get up-to-date and weekly information related to the data science industry. Just a great way to stay informed. And I hope to see you in some of the next tutorials.